It's always funny. Hello. <laughs> It never gets old to run by your horses. First time you're nervous, and then eventually it's just like, oh yeah, they're there. I would be really proud if I can finish before one of the horse. taking a break from the Leadman challenge and now we're turning our attention to the Grand Slam and we are on the east coast where the winters are too cold, summers are too hot. So last weekend was the Silver King in uh, Colorado. Only one week to heal from that is not much. I'm definitely still feeling my knee, a little worried about that. It's definitely not ideal. Uh, running 50 mile, biking 50 mile. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should look at the videos of Silver King. But the good news is my next race is uh, the bike, mountain bike, 100 mile in Leadville. I think that's about three weeks. So it's giving me some time in between both races. Down in Vermont, racing Vermont 100 tomorrow. This isn't the hardest race of the season, so I'm sure I'll find a way. What's really cool is that <laughs> there are horses racing this race with us. They don't know what's coming, but uh, they're also running for a hundred miles. The poor, the poor beast. Very much looks like home Quebec uh, around here. Uh, bringing a lot of childhood memories. There are different color plates out there. You're following yellow. Um, what yeah, color plate? Don't just ignore those. Sometimes there's horn plates out there from like a ride that happened a week or so ago. Just focus on yellow. And we think that the hundred kers are smarter than the hundred milers. That's Emotional, damn it! All right, Saturday morning, 3.55. Excited but nervous, didn't sleep so well. Um, yeah, didn't sleep so well, but uh, so be it. I'm still awake. There's a lot of people. I thought it would be a much smaller race, so that's gonna be exciting. Uh, I'm gonna register now, and then we're gonna line up, and we're gonna get going. I'm already tired. I think it's not sleeping in the race last weekend, but we're almost there. It's been about an hour. So far it's not going so well. I'm, I'm just not feeling good. Scary to feel that way that early in the race, but maybe I'll rebound. Just gotta stay positive, but holy crap. It's literally driving me crazy. Figuratively. Okay, maybe so, but it's no worse than you using the word literally in every other sentence. You don't don't they teach vocabulary in Canada? They literally don't. They literally don't. Oh, I literally want to rip your head off. You mean figuratively. No, I literally mean literally. Literally, literally. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a lot of birds in the morning. I can already tell this is not my race. Originally aiming for sub 24 is very realistic for me, but I'm already having issues. I'm tired, I didn't sleep so well. I had GI issue all night and all this morning already. That's aim for 30 hour, keeping the grandstand alive. I 
think it's gonna be a fight to the finish. It's a very long day. About 15 miles in, I am not feeling like it's only been 15 miles. <sighs> right now, I have 85 to go. It's hard to imagine doing that. I've done the 15 easiest and I am struggling so bad. But I can't stick to negative like that. I gotta try and think positive, but it's tough. It's tough because I barely scratched the surface. It's nice we're seeing the horses pass, the riders. I'm already in a dark place, but I know you can't think, think like that. You need to not think about why you cannot do that but rather how you can do it. Finding solution instead of finding problems. Just taking it easy, staying positive. I have zero energy. I still have GI issue. But these are the problems that I shouldn't think about. I'm not even 20 miles in. I can run faster than a horse. I'll show them. All I really need is a very inspiring song. Gather around ye children to hear the tale so sweet of a man who dared to race machines with nothing but his feet. Marshall versus the machine. As Marshall ran with all his might and past his friend Christine Hey Christine! He thought of all the times that he had beaten a machine Faster than a horse on the downhill Marshall versus the machines Our hero's strength was fading fast just as the light turned green he then thought back to all the times he'd lost to a machine. Getting too tired to see. So apparently the horses get a few medical checks. I'm happy to hear that actually. To make sure they're okay. Out of the 20 mile aid station, I'm just a downer. I'm really not feeling good. I should smile a little more. Feeling for, sorry for yourself is not the best way to feel good. So I gotta find some strength and keep going. I feel like I've been going forever, like 80 miles, but it's only been 20. Don't we all feel like that tree sometimes? I know, that's deep. I'm a friend of Sierra Connor. Could I see her, please? No, can't see her. She's making a statement. I'll be back. I'm back! Okay, we've passed the 25 mile aid station. I'm feeling better. Let's hang to that real tight and not let it go. 
it's really hot and humid but it's not sunny that's also something to hang on to I said it before and I'll say it again. It's very silly, borderline ridiculous and childish to have a team aid station. Good job, Good blue job, dinosaur. Buddy. But that being said, it is awesome. And Star Wars? I'm a Jedi! I'm a Jedi! I am a Jedi! I am a Jedi! Today I am number 100. Which feels like a very special number. I guess a lot of numbers can feel special, but 100 is special today. And I guess the race organizer, they knew I'm very special. So they give me a special number. <laughs> it's very much East Coast and feels like home, which also comes with the fact that there's not much of a view 99% of the time. So you gotta, you gotta appreciate when it's there because it's always kind of this generic Northeast forest around us. Still nice, but not 100 mile nice. <laughs> in the A. What? Yeah, you got served. Okay, all right, we got served. So now, I guess, it's on. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. Oh, no, it's on. oh, damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Well, why? Because if you get served and serve them back, then it's on. Don't you know anything? It's fun to r run with the horse. So we're going back and forth. I guess we're kind of doing the same time. I would be really proud if I can finish before one of the horse. Still going all right. So that's very good. Still a good pace too. We'll try to maintain that. I think until 60, that would be awesome. It never gets old to run by or be run by horses. First time you're nervous, and eventually it's just like, oh yeah, they're there. And walking next to them was really fun too. A little bit of special entertainment. It's always funny. Hello again. Hello. Do you give high fives? <laughs> All right, high five. <laughs> Thank you. the 3839 mallet station still feeling pretty strong we'll see if that will come crashing down but honestly whew, such a difference first 20 miles versus second 20 miles wow so usually for me this is the test the 40 to 60 if I feel strong after that it's a pretty good race. Next aid station, I believe, is Bear Camp. 
Can't wait to see the bears. This course is very well marked, so far at least. Which, that's great, I don't want to miss a turn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Out of the aid station at around 58 59 miles. It's going all right. Temperature is a little more comfortable, except sometimes it's sunny. But, uh, yeah, Jayushu came back. Unfortunately, that's the only thing. Um, but 40 miles, that sounds very manageable. Still hot, but in the shade, it's actually pretty okay. So we, we've got that going for us right now. About 65 miles in. I think the sub 24 for me is not gonna happen, but I'm definitely gonna finish, which is what matters. <sighs> All right, out of bear camp for the second time, still no bears, but apparently someone did see a bear for about five feet, which is kind of scary. I'm feeling tired, but I'll try to push as far as I can and then walk. I'm walking now because it's uphill. But uh, otherwise I'm jogging. Let's get as far as possible in daytime. And let's bring it home. About mile 74, the sun is slowly setting in. So in the forest, it's pretty dark. Birds are out. It's so gorgeous and peaceful right now. I wish it could stay like that. But, gotta go through the night to get the finish line, so let's just do it. Eighty miles in. I think I'm gonna take a break from running. It's uphill anyway, but I'm toasted. It's gonna be a long 20 miles. So apparently, mile 89, and 11.30, so it's looking good for a sub 24. 
but I'm totally empty right now. The GI issue are back, so. All right, just out of the last aid station. 5.5 miles to go. Always encouraging when it's the last one. First. What a, what a day, what a rough day. And the GI issue really coming back. And I believe the, gro the group of four, four horse rider are still behind me. The one we're going back and forth all day. Oh, there was a sign back there saying half a mile to go. Wow. I can't believe it. I'm gonna do sub 24 and it's been a terrible race. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be on the list of race I'm proud that I didn't drop and was able to somewhat perform decently well. <sighs> I'm so tired, I'm so empty. <sighs> but yeah, wow, this adventure coming to an end, meaning the Grand Slam is halfway done. I heard the horse behind me, but I think I'm also hearing the finish line. <laughs>